Aloha and greetings guys, Seth Gamby here in Kona, Hawaii. Hey, hope you're having a great day. Quick video here on how to avoid the biggest SEO roadblocks in 2013 for online marketing. Now, so if you have any type of business, product or service, you're trying to market online, no doubt you've heard of the, the Google Panda and the Google Penguin updates and how they are just driving people <laughs> just bat crazy. Uh, trying to get their stuff ranked and try to get people to find them without getting slapped around. So, see, here's the thing about online marketing. If you've been online for any period of time, no doubt at one time or another, you felt like this picture. Trying to find answers amidst all the chaos and the noise and the clutter going on on the Internet, it, it can be very, very frustrating. So, when you find a good source who knows how to cut to the chase, who can speak to you in clear, simple terms and, and show you how to just cut through all the crap and just get the results you're looking for it's a good idea to hang on to that source so I want to introduce you to Alex Becker uh, owner and founder of sourcewave.com now here's the thing I'm not an affiliate of, of, of Becker I just love his stuff He's t his stuff has helped me out a ton so I just I like I want to recommend him you know he's helped me and I know he can help you too so I included the links to his site and his videos in my blog post I encourage you to go check him out subscribe to him and like I said I'm not an affiliate and so if you buy any of his products, I don't make a nickel. And the cool thing is he gives away most of his stuff for free anyway. So just go check him out and you'll see you'll see for yourself that he's a real deal. So anyway, guys, he did a video recently that I just want to touch on briefly. And he's called The Biggest SEO Roadblocks in 2013. And again, referring to the Panda updates and the Penguin updates that Google's been slapping people with. These furry little pets that uh, have been giving people a headache. Now here's the thing. Let's talk first about the uh, panned updates. Now again, I included the link to the full 22 minute video by Becker below in my post, but I want to just give you a snapshot version of, of what I got out of it so you can see how valuable his stuff can be for you. Then you can go to his video and look at all the, all the in-depth details uh, after this. So check this out. When he talks about the panned updates, it basically comes down to this. Just avoid crappy links. If you're getting all your backlinks from, from PRNA sites or PR0 sites like Fiverr, you know, you're probably going to get slapped around, okay? When when Google sees everybody doing the same thing, like using these same crappy backlinks, you know, they're going to slam down on it. And so if you're doing that stuff, just stop it. And Banker again shows you how to go find real quality backlinks and just so you can avoid doing what the whole rest of the herd is doing and set yourself apart from the crowd. Okay, so that's basically the panned update. Just avoid crappy backlinks. Okay, now the Penguin update again. This it's a lot simpler than you may think. It basically has to do with over optimization and EMD. EMD refers to exact match domains. Like say you have a website called Fantasy Football uh, Hero .com and every keyword you use is Fantasy Football Hero, Fantasy Football Hero, Fantasy Football Hero. You know, Google slaps you for that. Okay, that's what the Penguin update is all about: over optimization, using the same keyword over and over and over again, not just in your in your in your your text and your, your post, but also using it with all your backlinks using the exact same keyword. See, Becker gives an example. Like, say your your keyword is skating shoes. Okay, now if every single link in your article is says skating shoes, skating shoes, skating shoes, it, your, your Google looks at you as you're basically trying too hard. Okay, they like to see you mixed up. So, like, if you want to talk about skating shoes, great, but mixed up with stuff like skateboards or skating apparel or skate videos or webcams or whatever you want to talk about that all related to this maybe skate shoes, but you're just not using skate shoes for every single link and every single keyword. Okay, so it's really that simple. Don't over-optimize your site. You look like the guy that's, you know, <laughs> trying too hard, wearing the leather jacket and all the chains and just looks like a used car salesman and trying way too hard to impress somebody. Don't be that guy. See here, in my opinion, this is what I got out of Becker's video. Just be yourself, guys. If you have a friend and you're trying to talk to your friend about, say, football, you're not going to say, hey, you want to go play football? Let's go watch the football game. Hey, let's go check out those football cheerleaders. Let's go check out the football game. And You know, you don't use football every other word, every other sentence. You say it a few times, then you talk about related stuff, and you, you just talk. You just talk like a regular person. I think that's what Google's looking for. They're looking for to see that you're a real human, and when you're slamming your keywords, slamming your links with all the same stuff over and over and over again, you don't look like a real person. That's not how real people talk. It's not how people communicate. And the idea of having a, a blog or a website is just to communicate to somebody on a, on a real personal level. Okay, so that's, in my opinion, that's the whole idea behind this Google and Panned updates is just to just be yourself. 
don't be a robot. Don't be a copycat slamming people with the same stuff over and over and over again, guys. It's really, really that simple. Now, I've given in underneath this video, I also have a link to a, a quick article I did called SEO for Beginners, which gives you some very, very simple tips. They're just are just the basics, okay? Then you can build from that. But basically, just shows you how to write a post in clear, simple English without trying too hard. And then you, when you combine with these these techniques from uh, and the insights that you get from back here, it's just a, a one-two combo that can't be beat. Now, here's the other thing: if you have a uh, authority blogging platform like the one I'm writing on right now that you're reading from, it just makes all the difference in the world. Like this blogging platform that I'm using right now is ranked in the top 400 sites in the world. It's in the top 160 sites in the United States. If you know anything about Alexa, how it works, that is absolutely huge. So when you have a powerful blogging platform that gets you, I, I've been ranked for, for keywords literally within a matter of hours with this blogging platform. And now combining with the stuff I'm learning from Becker and some other techniques I can show you, it's just a, it's just a, I can really show you how to knock the cover off the ball and get your, whether no matter what type of business, product, or service you have, I can show you how to make an incredible income doing just that. So click on any of the banners on my page, and I'll show you more about this blogging platform and how it works. And then, like I said, go check out Becker's site, sourcewave.com. It's source-wave.com. And see for yourself. Subscribe to him. And you're going to learn a ton from him just like I have, guys. All right. That's all I got for now, guys. Uh, any questions at all, leave me a comment, or I look forward to hearing from you real soon. So, Seth Gamby, Husband Dad Elevator, signing off from Hawaii. Aloha, guys.